anyone? <coughs> and uh, that's what you think it is at first. You think it's pneumonia and that's what the doctors thought they were dealing with until my test came back positive. If anyone is thinking, taking any chances, just take a look at me. When you get to day 10 of your symptoms, it really is at its peak. I'm in the intensive care unit. I can't breathe without this. My body had already been fighting it at home for a week and I didn't know that I had coronavirus. So by this point, my body was exhausted and um, I was just really scared. You know, I just thought, right, well, they're going to put me to sleep and I'm not going to wake up again and I'm not going to see my girls grow up. And I was sobbing and crying and all the nurses and doctors in the ICU were just amazing. They were doing everything they could to just sort of calm me down because when you get upset, when you cry, when you panic, your breathing exasperates and gets even worse. Um, so it, it's pretty frightening. It's very painful. Um, I've described it as having like glass in your throat, glass in your lungs. It hurts, you know, and the fact that you can't breathe is so, so scary. Cannula. Another cannula. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and, you know, the video, I, I sent that video to my work colleagues because they were supposed to meet up for training and they were all going to have this gathering. And I was like, guys, take this seriously. And I sent that to them and somehow it got shared and uploaded. So, you know what, if it's getting the message out there to take this seriously and if you smoke, maybe now is a good time not to because you're going to need the, your lungs if you get this. And... Please, none of you take any chances. I mean it. I want to celebrate the fact that I beat this. I feel so blessed. However, it's bittersweet because there's so many people still suffering.